Twitch TV. Thank you. Uh, dashboard. Skype sounds. Yes, yeah, Skype sounds. Um, Guys, just let you know that the stream is actually loaded, as you can see there. It's just a quick loading screen I have on. You'll be seeing that in a sec. Run them ads, get paid. I'm still waiting on an invite, guys. Okay, so we have the game ready to go. Um, hopefully League will let me in. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so we're just waiting for the players to get in. Guys, once again, we are just waiting on players. Like, the stream is up, as you can see. I'm just going to edit this. Whoops. And client. Okay. Right. The pay played username. I love this guy. Thank you. I love you too. Um. Okay. I'm gonna run like loads of ads so like I can get paid off you guys. Feel free to donate all your wallets. Hello to you too, sir. Uh, can you guys... Okay, so there seems to be a problem in the room at the moment. So we are just going to back out, create the game again. So, peace. See, this is what I would have loved. I would have loved to have a Spotify open so I could actually play music for you guys instead of sitting in silence. One of our lads just can't get in. Uh, this guy. Why don't, why don't you put music in the background? Because I'm not sure how many people want to do the Fandango. How many of you guys want to go Fandangoing at the moment? Let's not listen. You have bad taste. Hey, hey, you're the Fandango now it is. Yeah, seriously, you got bad taste. I don't know, yeah, just put on a video or a song or go sing Pat. You're great at this. Go sing. Sorry, I don't have I don't have the rock band set up, guys, I apologize. Um I really apologize for this guys, um, as you read in the chat there is uh, one person uh, unable to get into the game, I've just received another invite, so hopefully I can get in, so I go down there. That's the thing, that is not North Korea versus be North Korea's best Korea. 
This is Nerf the Earth versus Barely Legal. Boop, boop, boop. I'm a superstar. Will VODs be posted? Yes, VODs will be posted indeed. They will be going up onto the Arcade's YouTube page, uh, which shall be rev uh, revealed if I can just get an answer from my boss. Which I shall post for you now. If he gets back to me. Yeah, have some tunes. Maybe you guys can like like this more than more than we do. I hope you're all dancing. I hope you're all dancing for league. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. I like this guy. <laughs> I have a feeling somebody's gonna walk in behind me and slap me now. Oh god damn it, I'm too late I'm too lazy to walk over and slap me. <laughs> Okay, so guys, I have the YouTube channel for you where all the videos on the man shall be posted. This is... If you guys go to YouTube and... No, oh, never mind, I'm using a MacBook. You guys go to YouTube and look up that. Okay, we're still waiting on one more person for the guy. Uh, waiting on one more person for the guy, because you know what? Um, Pat, I'm gonna need an invite as well, please. I'm not sure if we have two spectators on. Uh, No, you can take two spectators. Okay, uh... Bro. Are you on your Yucatan account? Yep. Hopefully he doesn't crash on us. Okay, so while we get rid of that music, we're actually going to put on something a little more hype. This was the song that was actually used in the promo video for this tournament made by Declan Duty. The boss of Arcadecon, you should all go give him a friend request on Facebook. Stop being mean, Pop. This is far less hype. I love it. He is completely right, it is far less hype. And I can't hear it since I have the stream actually muted. Okay, so um, while we're just waiting on the one more person. Can I not get the invite? Or else, I don't know how I'm going to spectate, unless I have to... Yep, I'm working on it. Cool, cheers, thanks man. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Oh, League client, best client ever. Ha 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 ha, duty!
Okay, um... Joe, did you get in? Nope, I am waiting outside the menu right now. Okay, how about I go search for it and jump into it? How's yeah, that? you're gonna have to sp uh, spectate through the game. Um, do you have... I have none of them as a friend, that's the problem. Okay, give me a sec. Wait. It's in customs. Join or create. I'll join a game. Search game ArcadeCon? Yeah, sure. Uh, try to go with that if it's on. No, it's not appearing. Irish? Yeah, it said declined. Uh, give me two moments. Uh, Joe, stop looking for a game? Yeah, I hit accept. Uh, we actually have everybody in the room at the moment. We're just uh, we. It's just that Joe can't get into the room to spectate the game because he's in a different room. Put your guns out. Are you ready, guys? If only you guys could actually see the shenanigans going on in this chat at the moment. We're we're all talking about secret plans. Okay, guys, just before I get into this uh, as well... What's, um, the, what's the password, Pat? I shall pee down, that's you. Guys, uh, just while we're waiting on that, um, just let you know you want to know that there is a problem with the spectator mode. At any time, uh, jumping into the game, if it's possible that I run in my test, that the client could crash. If that happens, it will take an extra maybe two minutes to get into the game. So... That is a problem I cannot help. That is a mean password. Okay, so um, fill me in here, Pat. On the right side, we have... Okay. Oh, you actually made it in. Cool. Okay. So, shut up, Persona. Right, so on the f on the right side, we have, I believe, that is... Blah, 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 blah. Nerf the Earth, I think it is. One I apologize. I, I, sh I am really unprepared for this. <laughs> okay, yeah, which one's Nerf the Earth, so I don't start messing up the names? There goes. No, that is... Okay, sorry. We have Barely Legal as Team 1. Uh, actually, I should... Do so this. barely legal is made up of dead puddly, Selk one oh four. Dead puddly, puddly, puddly. Puddle, puddle, sorry. Deadpool, man, Deadpool. It's just dead puddle, Selk one oh four, Terra Corrupt, Maxwell Sill, and Coltine. And so wait, what team is that again? Okay, hold on, they lied to me. They lied to me. Oh wait. Team one has nerfed the earth. Okay, team okay. one is nerfed the earth. So <laughs> when I just said those names, that is team nerfed the earth, so you guys will know now. Okay. And on team two being led by our Captain Humorous, we have Team Barely Legal. Which is so a, qu quite quite a suggestive name. So BL versus NTU, okay. Nutball. Nutballs, okay. Okay, so, guys, if you got, if you are ready, are you ready to see some games in the Arcade Con League of Legends t Tournament 2013? You're, you're stumbling over your words. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Shut up, I haven't eaten today. You have soup. Akuma Khan, best bear con. You're banned. Get out. Uh, <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> oh, smart. Okay, guys. Um, Dead Puddle, when you are ready, will you please start the game? And we shall jump right at the champion select. So for all the people that want Nerf to Earth to win, just type on the chat and just say Nerf to Earth. Or anyone who wants Barely Legal to win, type Barely Legal. Let's see who's rooting for who. Nerf the Earth. Three, two, one. We are in champion select. So, what band, what picks and bands are we going with here? We'll try pick a team comp as we go along and see what I we can come up with. I'll connect it. Give it a second. <laughs> there we oh, go. There we go. Okay, so, so straight out of the bat, we have a Blitzcrank ban. Obviously, that's going to be a very farm orientated bot lane. 
It's possible that we could still see a Thresh pick though, unless Thresh is banned as well. To be honest, I just don't think anyone wants to get pulled by Blitzcrank. Especially, in, uh, especially when you get pulled, it's usually a death. And Nas is banned on the other side. Uh, will fix itself. Uh, guys, the game will be in uh, the full screen. If that's the what you're seeing now is only temporary. Okay, so picks and bans. We have not Cassiopeia being yeah. banned out. Do they know each other? This is the question. Have these teams ever played, or are they friends? We don't know. Cassiopeia seems like just um, it's like a ban against someone on their side. To be honest. And Malphite, so Blitzcrank, Malphite, Kale, all very normal bans at the same time as well. But the Cassiopeia one does confuse me. Um, Nasus, nobody wants a Nasus running into the lane. Big Dog coming into the lane and just basically howling and withering people. Now, to be honest, the Blitzcrank, uh, the Blitzcrank Cassiopeia, Malphite, especially the Blitzcrank, Malphite, it's, it's basically an engagement team. They want to stop the engagement, it seems. They want to engage on their own terms here, it looks like. And... Shen, Nasus, Kale, the very tanky orientated with the Kale being, uh, the Kale's ulti, just stopping anyone from dying. Kale is Kale. Kale is Kale. Okay, so straight out of the bat, we have a, we have somebody hovering over Zach. No, we don't. We actually have, stop doing that. Uh, <laughs> He's allowed to do it. <laughs> He's just feeding out for watch out. It is first pick. He can get counter pick, so he needs to choose carefully. Are they going to pick a support and trade it? No, but I think they're just going to pick with a jungler trade off the bat or a top laner. Xin Xiao and Jarvan still very open, but Zach is actually making one could pull in quite a splash. So right off the bat we got Zach. Yeah, we have the Zach um lock in, taking might be sitting on a if that is indeed a jungle Zach, which it's expected to be, then we're looking at a ghost and smite Zach. Um Slight question, Pat, can you not make the screen actually smaller during the camp select? Let me smaller, I'll see what I can do. Yeah, just check, check it out. I know when he goes into the game, we're fine. But on the right-hand side, we got the Karma and Ash selected. Not sure if that's a Karma mid lane or a Kar um, Karma bottom lane. Oh wait, nope, sorry. To change it to Zed. Could be Zed jungle or Zed mid. It could easily swap or change the summoner skills. But the AD carry has been picked. Uh, guys, the game will be full screen. Don't worry about it. Why don't don't make client smaller? So we might see a top lane Garen, which that is a top lane Garen. I can't. I, to be honest, I don't see. Well, unless I yeah. really want to pull out something different. You've, you've never, you've never played Garen mid. That's what I was gonna say. A Garen mid. You haven't lived. Um, or it could be AD carry Garen. But uh, okay, so we got the <laughs> support Siver AD Garen. Yeah, so we got the Siver as AD carry. I assume he hopes to counter the Ash Hour with her spell shield and the volleys as well. The only problem is Ash severely outranges. Uh, no, Ash severely outranges Sivir in auto attack range, though. See, if that Sivir is actually picked up, which we have four seconds to decide on, that Sivir is locked in, so that shield will have to be well timed if they if he wants to absorb the uh, the uh, the crystal arrow from the crystal ice arrow from Ash. There's the problem. They counteract with the Sona. Now she can only absorb one of the spells. You can't absorb both of them. That's the problem with Sona's ulti as well. They have a very good engaging comp right now on... That's barely legal on the right-hand side, if I remember. Yeah, yeah, that is barely legal. There's a lot... A very CC-orientated team. Left side. That's a nearly mid, I think, to go against Zed. I'm not sure how that matchup goes. So, basically, so far, we have on barely legal. Just want to talk a li little bit more about that team. We have a stun, a slow... Uh, we have a Jarvan knockup on a Jarvan ult, which nobody wants to get caught in. A Sona stun, and then we have Zed who can... Death. Zed CC is death. Whereas on the other side, we're looking at a Needly poke. We're looking at a lot of, um... Oh! That is Needly support, and Kart is mid, I assume. It couldn't be Kart as support now, could it? We're gonna see a Kart as support. Nah, I'm pretty sure it's Cartless mid and Nidley support. So the bottom lane wants to go poke with the Nidley and the Sivir. This is what I think is. I could be completely wrong here. I don't know how these guys play. Uh, oh, you actually fixed it on the stream. Nicely going, Pat. 
for slash arcade con 2013 brought to you by so that is Zed mid and not this no wait no wait oh a diana pick coming up that is Zed uh, jungle i think and diana mid funny enough okay just... so we are we are looking at a support needly here but it seems can't see any summoner spells being changed on so that might be an ignite support aka yeah. running a kill lane have you um, not seen edward with his ignite on trash we don't talk we don't talk about the russians here we don't the, talk the, about the, the russians no, no ruskies allowed but the uh, other thing <laughs> is here's the most interesting hardest took ignite not exhaust and ash has taken heal and they don't have any healing okay so just while that's counting down i just want to talk about the teams really fast we have a lot of cc coming from the uh, from barely legal and they are really strong with that Diana. They have a lot of uh, poke with the ice. Uh, sorry, not the ice arrow. The volley from Ash, the Sona po uh, power cord Q, the Zed shurikens, and the Diana uh, Q as well. They Whereas also have a very they, heavy engage comp as well. They can engage on their turns. Once Diana hits the Q, she can go in. Or once Jarvan goes in for the Cataclysm. That true as well. Um, on the only CC I can see from um, Nerf the Earth is basically Zach's abilities. And Cartus as well. Don't forget about that. Here's the problem, though. If Jarvan makes the wrong ult on Cartus when he, when his when he has his defile up and he's fed, that could ruin his own team. So he needs to make sure who to ulti properly when Jarvan's going against Cartus. So just while that game is counting down, guys, we're just going to um, stick up the loading screen here again. This stream is, of course, um, brought to you in association from ArcadeCon 2013. Convention going into its third year. Uh, will be taking place at the Ballsbridge Hotel slash D4 Hotels of, <coughs> excuse me, um, yeah, on July 3rd to the 5th, I believe. I am going to get fired if that's wrong, as it's been said to me 101 times already. Um, my name is Patrick. I am currently running the tournament on behalf of Declan Duty, uh, Marade Lines, and ArcadeCon itself. Um, In-game, I go by Drones Archive. There's not much I can say. My streaming partner is... Joe, uh, Joe, aka Yucatan. He also plays the game. Use my real name. Oh, jeez. Anyway, on the internet. Yes. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Sorry. This is Steve. Steve. Much <laughs> better. Uh, yeah, one one thing actually we didn't see picked up there. Uh, we didn't actually. It's just been said in chat. Uh, we didn't actually see a Caitlyn Thresh combo come out there. That's actually really surprising since Thresh was left open, but Blitzcrank was banned. These people could be playing to what they're comfortable with, not what's OP or what's meta. Remember about this slope. Okay, I've just been corrected. It's the 5th to the 7th. I don't know why I've been saying 3rd to the 5th on everywhere. I do apologize. It's the 5th to the 7th of July. Need to... more centering? Oh, yo, Ken. Okay, ban him. Ban, uh, <laughs> ban the note. Um, so, uh, once again, uh, some of our special guests include... Uh, if I forget any, I do apologize. Uh, you can find them up on the website, arcadecon.ie, as you see they're advertised. Um, we have guests such as Chipsel. She is a chiptune artist uh, who makes music using Game Boys from Belfast. Ken, you are not a special guest. Um, of course, this Linnaud fellow is actually a real like, active member of the... Yeah, he's a Madman Extraordinaire. He's part of the Irish... Um, League of Legends community. Yes, we have Chipsel. Another guest, other guests include Virginia Hay, a famous actress. Um, just let me check how long we have in game. Thirty-nine seconds until we actually get into the game. Pat, yo, Pat, can you say something again? Testing lag. Testing lag. You're slightly lagging. Can uh, let me call you back. Okay, cool. <sighs> Yo. Okay. Yeah, it, you're perfectly fine. You were just sounding like a robot there. It the makes... about to start in 10, 9, 8. We still have to go to a loading screen, remember? Yeah, some other special guests we have. We have actors such as Gareth David Lloyd, a Welsh-born actor, perhaps best known for his role in the sci-fi show's uh, Doctor Who spin-off, uh, Torchwood. Okay, this might actually... I'll get to the rest of the guests after this game, I guess. Okay, so, guys, we're about to jump into the game. If you guys want Nerf the Earth or... 
um, Team Barely Legal to win this game. Say so in chat now and give them your support. I'm actually expecting a lot of action from these two teams oh, as well. Report Cartus, he doesn't have a skin. Report Cartus. Report Cartus, guys. And report Ash for having a skin. Uh, <laughs> report Ash for having a skin. Go purple. Go purple! Now let's see, is team skin better than team war? Technically, the skins make you better. Let's see how this goes. Just want to make sure. And, yeah, everything seems to be running fantastic. Whisper, whisper. What are we whispering about? Report characters, whisper, whisper. I'm surprised Twitch works on your comp. This is not my comp. <laughs> and we are into game, guys. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. So, let's see what the first item buys are. First... First of all, yet yeah, we see the Zack uh, picking up the hunter, Hunter's Machete on five pots. And... Oh, I did not notice that. That is a jungle Zed. That's interesting. I did not actually notice that. Um, Sona starting off with the two war... Opting for two wards, two green wards and a sight ward. Oh, or sorry, a vision ward. Um, over the normal four, uh, four wards. Four green wards. Is this about game sounds? You're just gonna see the pause menu for a moment, guys. I just need to move my client. Uh, there we go. So we're actually seeing an invade here. Oh no, it's it's just the team warding up. Uh, they are aware of any invades as well. So, just a very normal start from both teams here. Yep. Um, very normal. I'm surprised to see Ash start with uh, boot. Actually, Garen as well has started uh, boots and pots. So, just going to. Mix these up a little. So, AD carries. She'll go there. And there we go. We're all, we're all loaded up now. So, both teams starting wolves. I apologize. Okay, no invasion. Seems like a standard start, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Zed picking up red buff. Um, Makes sense. And Zack is uh, gonna actually not start on red and st go for blue instead. Silver started with just pots only, it seems. So, with no boots. Uh, Ash has boots and pots, so if Ash can just get in those pokes with early, easy auto attacks, the only problem is nearly is gonna hurt a lot with just throwing those spears. Here we go. Is there a chance for first blood here? Oh, first blood might be going away to Sona. First blood on Sona, even. Oh, Needly picks up the first. Is Needly? Oh, Needly picks up a double kill. Support Needly. Told you, it's like Edward. Yo, Pat, apparently I'm really quiet. Okay. Um, I would love to be able to fix that at the moment. Uh, <laughs> okay, bear with me for two moments, guys, and oh, enjoy enjoy Joe's commentary for two moments. Bottom, pushing up the lane to hopefully to reset it back in place. Uh, but easy free farms for Silver though, so Silver's gonna catch up. Uh, it's gonna get a lot more farm than Ash. And back in mid, how's mid doing? Kind of stable.
also a part that says really low game sound wise as well. Really low game sound wise. Okay, I can fix that. Just bear me there for two seconds. You will see the game menu. And that should be okay now. Um, guys, I will. I would love to actually do something about Joe's microphone for the moment. Um, but that would require a pause, as I would have to go into microphone settings, and you okay, would have. Okay, if I just talk louder like this, is this better? Nah, Skype is up highest on my machine, though it seems. I love this troubleshooting. We should have had all this done. It's so unprofessional. No, yeah, this. You, this is. This isn't our fault. Uh, you didn't tell me anything. Uh, <laughs> Sure. <laughs> I told you I told you to get your heating fixed, but you didn't do that either. I okay. I can't afford heating, I'm sorry. Yeah, so we're mic just boosted up. And this is actually Ken's mic, aka Linnaud's mic, so you should blame him. Everyone blame Linnaud. I told you why isn't he banned yet? Blame the Asian. Yes, Mr. Whitey. But anyway, on the other note, um so Diana's starting to was it surpass Carters and Farm by quite a bit, and Garen's just spinning against Jarvin there, not doing much damage. Uh, but in terms of farm, it seems like what's it? Barely legal's actually farming nerf to earth by quite a bit. Zach just shown something, uh, some presence in um, mid lane. Uh, Cardus looks like he may have been dived, but no. Instead, he says, "I'm just going to go back and farm my rates." Um, bottom lane, w both AD carries don't seem to be farming the best so far. Uh, six coming up to six minutes into the game. Oh, but we have an engage going on down here. Ash get taking a lot of damage. Needly just tossing those brooms. Wow, that is a lot of unanswered harass. Maybe a volley or something could have came out from uh, from Ash there. It seems like Needly right now controls the bush and controls the harass right now. Someone I can't even go in for the post without Needly just smacking a, t uh, a spear at her. We have an engage. Going really aggressive on Jarvan there. Jarvan popping the shield a little bit late. Oh, but well, we have an engage in mid lane! And Diana picks up the first kill. Well, her first kill of mid lane. And we see Cartus there just trying to do something, but can't do anything, unfortunately. And what will Deadpool get up to here on Zack? Will he swing around, or is he just going to keep on walking around? Are you still watching Zack? Because I'm down on Nidley right now. Yep. Oh, now, Gar now Garen. I control the stream. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, you control the stream, but I'm on spectate as well, remember that? So I can't see what you're controlling. I know. It's great. That <laughs> just messes up when I'm talking as well though, Pat. Yes. Anyway, here we go. Nearly just face checks the bush. And Takes a ton of damage. This could be a kill for Ash down here. Will Ash get the kill? Ash yeah. using the volley. Ash deciding oh, the chase. Burns the flash. The Zach with the counter gank. And Ash is still getting greedy. Not really a counter gank, just more like saving his butt because it was a counter gank. So, oh, yes, I, I apologize. And Ash knows that she's gonna get down here. There's the card, the soul coming out just a little bit too late. Oh my god! Oh! That spear! Uh, someone died oh, wait. Dragon, actually, and I think it was. Sorry, I did, yes. Uh... It was Sivir who died to the dragon. After Ash hit the dragon, the dragon went on Sivir and Sivir died. That was a great play, but the bad news is that Sona picked up the kill. So, not not entirely a bad thing, but it, with just a little bit more luck, that would have been great to go to go to the AD carry instead. To be honest, it's Ash support and Sivir support here. It's the battles of it's the <laughs> battle of the AD carries, aka Sona and um, <laughs> Nidalee here. Clearly, support carry games, guys. Always remember that. Right now, Garen's on full health and Jarvan is nearly half. Garen seems to be bullying Jarvan quite a bit. But the thing is, Jarvan's farming really well. Jarvan always seems to be popping those shields just a little bit too late. He's taken most of the damage. Oh, there's a flash. There's the, there's the ignite. Are we going to see an ult? No, he ulti's too late. But the ignite will take Jarvan down. And that was a great play by Terra Corrupt up there on Garen. And now Garen's just going to get the chance to free farm. Uh, Garen is still sitting on his starting items, aka the boots and pots. I don't think he's gone back yet. But what are we going to what are we going to see coming out with Jarvan here? Um, hopefully armor if he's not doing so well. But he might go for uh, risky and get more damage. But if I was Garen, he probably oh he actually went for the giant spell and the ninja tabby. He didn't go for that brutalizer. Oh, a chunk of damage coming down onto Sauna there. 
So yeah, we do in, we do indeed see. Uh, sorry about that. As uh, we see, Jarvan's after picking up the giant's belt should help him sustain a bit more. But they do not want to die if this Zach if they manage to do anything. Zack being the newest champion, if anyone doesn't know, is when Zack gets knocked out the first time, he will not die. He will in in instead split into four little blobs, kind of like an Anivia ult. Um, he only dies if you manage to take down those ults. Here's the, the thing, ults. Anna is farming quite, like, nearly double Cartus' farm. That's the problem here. And he's taking free harass as well, but that is the Cartus versus Diana matchup. Garen keeping a push. I am surprised... Um... Was it Zach? Um, no, Zed hasn't gone up to gank top. But then again, Garen has bought a ward. So if you can keep an eye on that, she should be safe. But as you can see, the map isn't actually warded that heavily. So the junglers can really make a play here. So 10 minutes in, uh, we do see um, barely legal. Oh, we have an engage here on the Needly. Needly burns the flash, but you will not escape a Diana. Here's the problem. Cartus didn't ward the rates. So um, Diana actually went through the rates and went down. So they couldn't notice that he was going down. We see the Damasian lane up there, Garen, fight, uh, Garen fighting to become Seems the like future Garen king. Also a giant's belt, uh, so it, it's just a battle of the tanks up top. Yeah, that that won't be a kill lane as such. That will be a farm lane. And which is actually Jarvan farming better than Garen right now, but Garen did get that kill. But with that kill, that that has evened up the gold pretty much as well. I'll probably surpass them to be honest, but at least Jarvan is still farming really well though. Usually when you lose them. Um, um, when you die in the top lane, it's really easy to snowball. Oh, oh we have an engage here on Zach. Probably. And Cartus can't do anything. Oh, wait, if the There's the Zach go. passive. Cartus can't really do anything on that. Oh, here we go. Here's the ult. Does he have enough damage? Uh, and you're dead. And we got someone disconnected. Oh, we have a DC. So hopefully these guys will pause the game. Oh no, he's reconnected. Oh, he reconnected instantly. Okay. He didn't die. Thank God. I should have actually reminded the players that uh, Slash Pause was available. But Zed is dead. So Zed did die to Cartus. Cartus is getting paid with that ulti. So, here's the problem. Cartus is a monster late game. Cartus is collecting his social welfare. Top lane, not much spell trades. Garen went back to... No, he didn't go back to buy. He just went... Uh, oh yeah, he went to mid. We're actually looking at the gold between Garen and Jarvan is actually quite... Uh, the total gold is quite nice. Um, Garen, at the moment, sitting on 2,810 gold, opposed to Jarvan's 2,715, but Garen just picked up a full a full wave there as well. So, not much going on again. Uh, Zed saying to, the, to Diana, you have two kills. Sorry, you have three kills. Uh, you can pick up those rates if you wish. To be honest, though, even though it's five kill even, um... Barely legal is ahead by a K and a half, so meaning they are actually out they're out farming them by quite a bit here. So what we're gonna see here is Sona just took another spear to the face, so those Sona's mana will be going down. And at least pushing up forward. No, it's just controlling the boat. Even auto attack or it goes into uh, Panther form. Oh Nothing we can really see here other than the kill on Needly. That's three zero sorry, that's a three two support Needly. See, the Lily's actually buying AP items as well, though, so it will help her. The big question is, is a pity Ash didn't have the mana for... Oh, we're about to see a kill here in mid. Will Diana go for the dive? She will, and she picks up another kill. That's a 4-0-0 Diana with 90 farm. Four card. Yep, as we can see there, neatly. No, oh, another Zettled. Will he get the kill? No, he won't. Bang. No, he won't. No, he wants to back out on this. Exactly. Nice call by Zed, unlucky with uh, the damage, but Zed's damage early game with the ult is it lacks um, the damage to be able to 100 to 0 somebody without a couple of items at least. And we see a, f we see a rushed Rod of Ages coming out from Cartus here. That's understandable um, to make himself a little bit more tankier. The question is, I wonder if he's going to stack up the tier since he has a lot of mana. Or is he just going to go straight for the dead cap? And Zed just escapes out of the enemy's jungle? I see in chat Scumbag Pat doing something. Scumbag Pat taking all the mic. It's two mics, Joe's on Skype. <laughs> so, once again, we're just back to farming, but at the moment, Barely Legal with it's with just about 2k lead, a 1.8k lead. 
Now the question is, which has the better comp late game? Now we got the Cartus on the other hand, but Ash is quite stupid late game because you can never get near her, and she has that great engagement. And Garen kind of falls down late game as well. So, but then again, Cartus answers that. But Nilia is actually getting um, AP items. She has her hunting guys. She has her um, tier, which is probably going to turn into a Severus embrace uh, embrace later. Basil, as you can see. Oh, okay. On the other note, yeah. <laughs> ah, nearly is just on par with those spears. Bottom lane doesn't have anything to answer for that right now. And there we go. Diana is just roaming the enemy's jungle, uh, jungle, knowing that she can probably take most people. Consider she's four zero zero, and she has a measly large rod. Once Diana lands that Q on Cartus, he'll be instantly dead from the looks of things. But look at this poke damage by Nidalee and Sivir. Bottom lane is having a bit of trouble, but how is Ash keeping well farm? Ash is actually farming better than Sivir, funny enough. So, even though it's looking, um, looking bad on bot lane due to all that poke, Ash is still farming quite well. She's gotten her BF sword. And Sivir seems to be going for a zeal first, but there's a dive by um, Diana with a flash out. Diana is looking really strong right now. And that flash just may have saved Diana as well, although she did land the Q, so that ulti was off reset. Needly escaping with just barely any life. Getting dropped down to, well, she's popped her heal, but that was way below at least 10 health. To be honest, Diana rushing Zhonya's makes a good choice because you can one Zhonya's Cartus ulti if you need to do You can be the tanky engage going in and Zhonya's instantly because Ash Arrow Sona um, ulti And oh sorry I'm missing all this talk right now they went to die for Jarvan but they backed out afterwards But yeah the whole point with Zhonya's on Diana she is that engagement She will engage with Ash's arrow and Jarvan's jump but right now what team is this? This is purple no this is Zach's team. The Z Z yeah, no, Zach's team has nerfed the earth. Um. Yeah, Zach's team's nerfed. Yeah, there we go. Barely legal just picks up their first dragon. Pink warded, uncontested. They didn't even. I uh, nerfed they don't even notice about it. They don't even know it's gone. Like, you, uh, like Ken says, yes, purple team seems to be coming out better. The only problem here is. Um, I think Spectate crashed, Pot. Spectate has indeed crashed, it seems. Yep, there we go. And there's the error we were talking about. So, unfortunately, guys, I can't help this. I'll jump straight back into the game. And you guys can have a nice picture. Haha. <laughs> so, I'm just going to hit reconnect here. So it seems to be loading back up already. Yeah, I'm also loading back up. So yeah, Diana's picking up the Zanyas. She wants to be that engagement. She wants to go in feeling that she can still be safe by pressing that button. Yeah, Riot themselves did say this spectator is a bit wonky. Wonky. First time and first probably the last time you'll ever hear that on stream, guys. Uh <laughs> Okay, Joe, speak for me now. Yo, can you hear me? Can you guys hear Joe okay in chat Am now? Am I sounding better now? Okay, so we're back into the game, so... Boom. And we're back. Cool, much better, they said. Cool, cool yep, I have the chat here beside me now. Hi, guys. Okay, so 18, eight, nearly 19 minutes into the game, we have our first turret taken by Barely Legal. Uh, Nerf the Earth, still doing okay, but they're after taking a huge um, deficit in gold, now 5.4k five, 5 behind. 
And that they're also that kill which was exchanging one for one each time is now taken is now taken up to three yeah, three kills. And humorous humorous seeing Zack there under the tower and deciding not to die if the card does this time. Here we go, there's Zach. the Zackle. Oh, but see, Zack can just turn around here and... Yes. Oh, oh there's... Jarvan the... and Diana clapping on them. And Jarvan leading the way. Who will, who will the Jarvan will go on once he's not silenced anymore? There's the Zed coming on to Garen. Probably not the best target to go on. And right we now, Cardus is leaving it to do damage. And, and there's... The... Get a kill? Cardus ult? No, I, he doesn't have enough damage. Not enough damage right now. Which is oh, Cardus big... didn't die. But, oh! Humorous is out of mana. Diana has no mana. No, but Carter's just going to back off because he sees that the Jarvan is still sticking by to Diana. Good call by both teams. Unfortunate that Diana ran out of the mana for the ult because one auto attack uh, completed with the ult as well would have actually killed Carthus. Carthus going back to lane still farm, it seems. Uh, so yeah, Zonius is now finished on Diana and she's now getting a Bissell Scepter. She's oh, but Gar Garen has actually found the Ash and that's going to that's gonna be a kill. Oh, but no, now the flash nice coming flash out. By Ash. Garen Great flash coming out. Garen ulti there, actually. That's a pity. If Garen had ulti, she would have been dead. And that there's is... Jarvan's ulti just to stop them in their tracks. Not for Jarvan taking a lot of damage there, actually. Honestly, I don't think he needed to use the flash, as he could have just used the standard and his uh, dragon blade to get out. He actually went in with it. That was the problem. Ah, I see. Okay. Sorry, I didn't see that. That's what we mentioned. If only Cartus brought exhaust, but Cartus has ignite. Cartus is now rushing for a dead cap or a Zonyas. He still hasn't gone boots yet though, which is a which is the thing. But Zach is actually going for more support oriented. He's gonna get an Ages of Legion for his team. I think. Yeah, that should be an Ages of Legion. And Sona is also rushing for her Ages of Legion as well. Boat actually funny enough, Garen and Jarvan's build are nearly identical with two war mogs each. Oh my god, I hate the Mac keyboard. Here we go. Anna is just going to keep poking with her Q. But Nindy's going to keep poking with her Q. So right now, it seems like um, Nerf to Earth wants this mid tower down since it's low on health. And Nerf to Earth needs to get some gold back into the team before they fall further behind. That's true. But right now, it's 5 mid going against 4 because Ash is just getting, keep getting free farm. Uh, barely legal with 124 farm on Ash and Silver with only 90. So both teams just gonna back off here, see what happens. Um, of course, nobody on either team wants to go near Diana at the here moment. Oh, Zach is ulti's on Zed, and no wait, Zed just ulti on Zach, sorry. Oh. And he just died instantly. That burst. Of course, Zed is packing a BF sword and uh, hit the first part of his blade of the Rune King, so he is going to do a lot of damage with that ult. Now, see, Nerf to Earth just walked past Asona. They could have easily collapsed on her, but they let her go trying to get Zed instead. Why can't they see Zed? There he is. Now, right now, Ash is trying to push this tower back because knowing that uh, um, Nidalee can't wave clear as well. But Nidalee is doing a lot of damage for her support. But then again, she does have three kills. And just while we were looking at this action going on in mid, um, Sivir, ha Sivir has actually taken the tower back for Nerf the Earth. Here's the problem though. Sona's not carrying G uh, GP5s or GP10s. Nidalee isn't, which is the problem. So if she doesn't keep getting kills or getting assists, she she's not getting a lot of gold here. So right. right now, at 23 minutes, it's roughly 5k ahead to barely legal. Nerf to Earth is 5k then. Oh, a tower each. And let's just see what's going on. Garen still has more farm and more kills than Jarvan. So, Garen uh, with the better items at the moment, aka being, being the better tank. Garen is just all tank. Here's the problem. Garen late game, if he's just tank, he's not even a threat. You can actually just kind of walk past him. You have to take a silence, but no damage. If yeah, you had a the black cleaver, the AD carry should be scared. But right now... The person and to look out for at the moment is Diana. She's sitting on 6 0 when she has her Zonyas and she has that first part of. She actually got tier 3 boots, her home guard boots, so she is going to be in that fight at all times. 
Yeah. Um, if she gets low on health, she's going to run away and come back. She also has the first part of her Abyssal Scepter, aka the Negatron Cloak. That will probably help her engage Zhonya's, get away on low health, and then hopefully survive the card assault that is bound to follow afterwards. Said exactly what I was about to say. Perfect. <laughs> I'm just saving your job, man. And you can actually, yeah, no. you can actually see um, on stream, uh, Joe, you can't. Ha! Just how far uh, Diana is. She is. She's currently sitting on just at eight thousand gold now, as actually, as compared like, to Karth, this is um, five thousand six hundred. But right now they're all just collapsing on mid. There is, and there we go. There's a Sivir's ulti that was supposed to be an engagement, but they're not going through with it. That's one ulti blown. I think that I think that was a huge case of um, miscommunication there by uh, by that team. And it was actually just noted in chat that Zed and did, st did steal blue. Are we Zed. going to? Did Sona blow her ulti? She did not. The, the crescendo is available, which could start as. This is a actually good the gate. I thought they were going for dragon, but no. She it saved is. saved the ult for now. There is the crescendo. All teams stunned. And that is, oh, Jarvan has caught. Jarvan has actually caught Sivir off to the side, but Sivir burns her flash to get away, neatly taken uh, down. Nice Sonya's, but that is still a dead Diana. That is I a dead Diana. Oh! oh! Nidalee gets a double kill to support. Seriously, support is now five three one by Nidalee, and she's still going after Ash the AD carry. Will she have enough damage to kill her? No, no she will not. Ash picks up the kill. Probably no. a bad choice from Nidalee there. Um, could have possibly switched back to human form and healed herself. Here is the big thing. Ash has her infi. And Zeal, and now we... she is going to be packing a lot of damage to be honest. She needs to be nuked or uh, zoned out. We have uh, Nerf the Earth sticking around the Dragon area. There is only, actually, only Diana is down. So Jarvan could possibly make his way down there. But no, I expect this Dragon to be gone anyway. It is. There's no one to actually claim this. So yeah. this is going to be the second Dragon's going to be taken to Nerf the Earth. That will help them, um, help them get closer back to barely legal. And Karth is actually just walking back to the fountain. Maybe he forgot something. Or maybe he ch he is able to pick up an item now. Yeah, he's able to pick up his uh, tier 1 boots. It is the reason Nidalee died to Ash there. If only Garen followed, but Garen didn't. That was the problem. So we finally have tier 1 boots coming out from Karthus. You know, he, needs to be, he needs to be everywhere in the map. Because Karthus has no map pre presence whatsoever. So yeah, he is going to be rushing that death cap. Because he has the blasting one after Nidalee's large. He's not getting his onions it seems. And is that going to pass red right over to Sivir here? Garen it... got a QSS, a Quicksilver Sash. He doesn't want to be stunned, it seems. And if he gets a Makira Scimitar, it'll give him the 50% movement speed once he pops it. And Makira Scimitar will increase his damage by quite a bit. Uh, uh, barely, but... barely legal, just coming uh, to terms with the fact that their dear dragon has been taken away from them. Yep. Jarvan is now getting um, Randian's Omen as well, so he is just going straight out tank. Uh, Garen could go damage with the Makira Scimitar, or Garen's just going to leave it as the QSS. And finally, Nidalee picked up the Sightstone, so now there's going to be more ward coverage. All two of them. Well, and that green ward that she's also carrying as well. Has been actually buying normal wards, to be honest. But yeah, but now she'll have more map vision for her team. Oh, that was... Oh, wait, no, no, no. I thought that was um, a Q... One of Diana's Qs that hit everyone there, it just hit minions that Garen was standing over. Garen with those mind tricks. Jarvan's saying, hey look a trap, I'm going to take that away from you. Now see, Ash can just easily go, guys, I'm going to fire the arrow down mid lane. Just go on it. But, or she's going to use it for defensive purpose. But right now, it's still everyone's in mid lane. Well then again, Zed being Zed, he's now taking, trying to take the tier 2 tower on the top side. And... Garen, Carter's and Nidalee are going to go after. But it seems like Zed noticed, so now he's backing off. Will he get caught, though, is a problem. Garen's a lot faster. And there we go, with the silence on Zed. No, nope, he just gets out. Probably should have saved that silence if uh, he ulted onto him. I couldn't see Zed um, ultying that Garen, to be honest. He lacks the burst to take him down. He does. Nice crescent, strike, uh, crescent slash by Diana. Yeah, but she can't. They're too close to the tower. They need those towers down. See, Diana wants to engage, but she knows they're too close to the tower, and she doesn't want to die first, to be honest. So, at the moment as well, we're looking at 4 in mid to the five, uh, to the 4, and then Garen is coming up here as well. We see Zed 
attempt at the split push up top. And he's still staying up top, to be honest. But um, Nerf to Earth just pinged for that tower, noticing that he is coming down. So Garen is going to go over and defend that. Good call. But, but, now, they're, but now they're lacking a tank. It's okay, I'm sure what Nerf the Earth is saying is if they dive us, needly help us. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> but they got a dive on Karthus. Karthus is, is going to start. Once you finish that death cap and probably get a void stop, he will be hurting. That is the problem. No matter what, once Karthus gets her tree core. There we go, death cap finished. Hopefully, this will help him out in those team fights. One thing as well that was picked up on in chat Zach scales very well with HP. Zach has no HP items. He's after rushing a bulwark when he's 0 5 5. So now it is Nerf the Earth uh, coming, trying to, trying to push down on the mid tower. That is still very low. They defended very well. See, Diana could actually engage here, but here um, I think they're just a bit afraid. But here is because the, they don't know their own gold value. But here is the question: Who do you focus first on very legal team? Do you focus the Zed? Do you focus that? Oh, but we have we have an engagement on the Karthus. Karthus, Karthus goes down. Zed is gonna escape, but here comes the Karthus ult. Well, Doesn't get... pick up anything, but Diana is just getting out. Diana could turn again on this. And there is Ash's ice arrow, and Ash gets the kill. You can never run away from Ash. That's a problem. You have. To oh, die. that was a. Oh, that was a great thing. Um, a great ulti by Diana. And there is Azania's popped. And that is an uh, ace for none. For none. Great play there by Nerf the Earth, and they might even push down to the inhibitor tower here. Let's see what 30 it is possible with Cartus only to defend because he'll be the first one The only problem is see they saw Cartus's ulti and they still kept going I They thought they could take it, but they actually couldn't and it just went in one by one Ash there Hawk shot in the tower to deal tons of damage Like I said, who do you focus on barely legal team? Do you focus the Zed? Do you focus the Ash? Or what about the Diana with Zonius? What do you guys think? Who should they focus? It's not frozen for me when I'm watching it. Yeah, me neither. So right now people are saying Zed or Die. They're, they're all true. You really need to peel uh, for your AD carry against Diana because she can just stick to you. That is the problem. See, the problem is Zed is so close to getting his blade to the Rune King, meaning his ulti damage will only increase. He'll be able to take at least three quarters of uh, Garen's health. That is the problem. It is. Who do you focus right now? And Jarvan's just being that wall with the bl um, with Randy and Zoman and Warmog's son. He is just a wall, so but he brings a lot of disruption, so that's the problem. Of course, we're looking at a really well farmed up Ash and a really well far farmed up Zed as well, who's three two five in the jungle. So just trying to clear out the waves in mid lane. This has been a very mid lane orientated game so far. What I'm expecting is uh, Zed to go back up on push top lane again. Or maybe they should send Sona there, let the support get some farm. I mean she's like 4 kills behind. Anyway, uh, Sona has the Age of the Legion finished. Um, so that will help uh, her team a little bit more, even though her team's doing really well. And Zach. Has that bulwark to stop Diana's damage, or uh, try and negate it a little bit for her team. But right now they're standing on a ward. But I'm not oh, gonna there's lie. a several popped. Maybe that was a misclick. No, I just think they wanted to go in, but I, lack of communication there, I say as well. But oh no, is that Ash DC? No, she's not. She's running. And she fires the ice arrow, and. She, 
still does a lot of damage before she dies. And it's Zach is gonna get away on no help. Diana with a fantastic Zonya's there avoiding all avoiding all damage. And there's the Jarvan going in! We might be looking at another ace here. And now if they can just find Zack over to the right, or now they're just going to ignore Zack and they are going to go straight for the inhibitor and we could possibly see a Baron coming up after this as well. Here's the problem, they did it right, they focused Ash. They're no, they're just going to up straight to go for the Baron. So this will be a free Baron, but uh, they are not warded, but they do have a free 25 seconds before Nidalee comes up. Well, Sona has an Oracle, she can easily clear those. But um, the thing is, Ash was the one that was focused, but allowing Zed and Diana to go all in. See, here's the problem, they have that dilemma. Who shall we focus? And the only problem is most of the team, except for Zach, have to run to Ash. And Ash with that volley, it's really hard to run to, him, to her. So now for the next four minutes, you are going to have a very, very powerful, uh, barely legal team. Honestly, things are looking a bit dire here uh, for Nerf the Earth as they are just after falling over 10k behind, 11k behind now. At 35 minutes, that is a lot. Of course, now the respawn timers are starting to get longer as well. We're looking at a 40 second respawn timer. Ash has her Bloodthirster, Infi, and Phantom. So, yeah, she she needs to die as well. So, Ash at the moment. No, get back there. Uh, Ash at the moment is packing 266 AD. So, and the Phantom Dancer will increase her speed, as, uh, her attack speed as well. But it's we not just about the AD, the fact that she has Infi and uh, Phantom, her crit damage is going to hurt a lot, blood, the Blood Turster. Because right now if you go on Zed's AD, I'm pretty sure Zed has the highest AD. He also has a boost of mobility, so he wants to be in places fast. Now we see Diana pushing top lane. That Diana's kind of fallen off. She's only picked up one kill since the landing phase has actually ended. However, she has gotten a lot of assists just by hitting people with her Q and allowing Ash to pick up the kills. Diana's late game is pretty good, but the only problem is it was mid game. The, tw the, the 18 minute to 25 minute mark, she was dominating and that allowed her team. So she's done her job right. Now it's Zed and Ash to take the show because they're late game. Well, actually, Ash more late game than what? One thing I've actually noticed that uh, Stona has just uh, dodged a needly spear. Probably the first one in the game. I mean, it's not like someone can exactly tell them to stop throwing spears. Now, so I'm pretty sure Barely Legal knows they're way stronger. So, I'm expecting to see the Ash Arrow ju just fire at Karthus or at Nidalee or anything. Just and to go in. Wall of Pain goes up by Karthus, of course. The, oh, There's but we... Engage by we're respecting the crescendo yeah. here. There's the There's crescendo. The now the entire... Zach goes there straight onto Karthus. Karthus exhausted. And Garen picking up a shutdown bonus onto Zed. The old doing doesn't pick up anyone again. Pull in by Diana. And the nice Z is by Diana. Burns the flash to get out as well. There's no real targets here as Birdly um nerf the earth is quite spread at the moment. Ash dies as well. This team fight is a lot better than last time. But Jarvan oh, that was a That ulti just coming off, cool down by Jarvan, and bringing it down. Didn't kill Zach, so Zach actually still survived. But Zach is making a very big mistake in my opinion by actually sticking around. He should go back and heal, get some home guards as fast as he can. And now they're they're pushing onto the Nexus. They, they want to end this now. They know that they have 40 seconds on Garen. Now, I'm not going to lie. Nerf Earth played that really well, though, to be honest. They focused Ash and focused Zed. It was just Diana was the next one. See, but they was... got split off. They had two members outside the walls and three members inside. I know. It's just trying to get those three down is really tough for them right now. They're swinging around to the bottom turret here. Right right now, for barely legal, all they have to do is just take out Cartus because Sivir isn't hitting that hard yet, so they don't really have to pay attention to her as much. So, Barely Legal only has one target of focus, while Nerf to Earth has three targets of focus. Not much going on here. I'm, I I believe Barely Eagle can actually close out this game, but they don't want to close it out yet, it seems. So they just went back to the jungle and farmed. But Zach is going for the bottom tower. He wants more gold for his team, which is the right choice. Ash is now picking up the red buff. So, interesting build by Zach. It is a bulwark, a twin shadow, and I think that's going to be a sunfire cape next. 
Here we go, Zach um, CZ, but just cues him, and Zach just um, teleports away. Yep, Zach saying, I don't want none of you when I'm on my own, because you are you are indeed a Zach, and you are quite strong at the moment. I know, I'm pretty got... sure he could take him, though. Look at his farm, 272 farm to 122, to be honest. He could take him, but then again, people don't want to risk. List. That was the problem. Yes, it's not good to take risks at this late in the game. Diana picking up her own blue buff there. And Diana looking quite strong at the moment is going for the um, the Rylase Crystal Scepter next as well. Yep, that is a Rylase Crystal Scepter. Uh, she already has her dead cap, yeah. So her shield from her W is going to be huge as well. So she's actually quite tanky. She's not as squishy as people would think. And of course, like with just um, the pushing coming out, there's pushing off all the lanes coming out from uh, Barely Legal. Ward going down for a ward. A lot of aggressive wards from Barely Legal right now. They want to keep hold their jungle while uh, Nerf to Earth is placing defensive wards in their jungle. So it's safe. But Zack is just split pushing. Oh no, Zed. Sorry. I always get those names right, so my bad. Wow, some great burst damage there. And he wasn't even near Karthus and he still managed to do a good four, four or five hundred points of HP damage to Karthus. He honestly, Zed could go on him at any time. His ulti is up. Yeah, and here we go. Here's the, there here it is. And that is a dead, dead Arthas. Yep. And he just explodes. And he flashes. But oh, Sivir nice picks up the kill. I don't get it. Karthus always blows the ulti whenever he dies. You're Karthus. Why not? No, because now he <laughs> has to wait. That's yep. the problem. He should like he should have um, a bit of map awareness to actually hold the ulti. But then again, maybe he, they, do, may he does say, I am Karthus. True. I thought <laughs> maybe, maybe his team should engage once they saw that ulti or something. It's just... No, they will be in a very bad position to engage. It was 3v4, and they're uh, they're missing their tank as well. True, but... Uh, but Zed down, though, that's your best option. Now there's only two targets of focus, but you lost your Cartus, which is also your best damage. And uh, Ash reveals herself, time. and Garen says, I'm going to go in anyway. He's, try he's trying to focus somebody. Where's the crescendo? There's, there's the, crescendo the crescendo coming out. On Sivir. And Sivir... Sivir can't do anything here. Jar Jarvan and is trapped humorous in. Oh, that... Double kill, and, and that's that's gonna be the GG. They can push down and win this. Yeah, they can win this, or are they gonna surrender? Is this a GG? They said GG. My camera's not moving, so I think that I think it's that they're, they're, they're oh, gonna surrender. Vote two out of three. They haven't surrendered. Well, you can see that. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I have chat up. So the cart is going man mode on these guys. Will he go in? Will he just flash in? Captain uh, Timo should be proud. No, no, can he? He's doing okay damage, like. But no, no, he, he doesn't want to go against all four. And Zed is just hovering around Baron, making his way up. No, he's, he's, he's just going to grab the blue wolf. This is the funny thing. Card has just defended that one tower against four people on his own, like. He sh he, yeah, but he didn't fight them. That's where that's where he let us down. He, he didn't fight them, but he actually defended that tower. That tower is still standing. Okay, so while they're going for Baron, I just want to point out that minions are coming on to the second inhibitor. And Ash isn't even with them on the Baron here. Doesn't need his Zed does enough damage, to be honest. Yeah, Zed, of course, back in that blade of the Rune King, so he will be shredding percentage health of Baron. And here comes Diana saying, no, I want this kill as well. And Zed saying, no, you can't have it. Nah, I don't think they said anything of that. <laughs> I think Zed just did too much damage, to be honest. <laughs> of course, Zed with the smite as well. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting Zed's a jungler. <laughs> it's rare for the jungler to be that far ahead, to be honest. Then again, he has 291 farm. And Zed is also packing 445 AD. So that is a really strong Zed at the moment. Really strong. He's right now just kind of he's, stupid. He's in uh, Zed's time, if you would. Needly gonna try to jump uh, over the wall. Actually, gets it. Ash is not the Ash is also packing a lot of damage. In fact, Ash is gonna go all glass cannon. She's not even gonna get a GA for her last item. She is gonna get the Runane Hurricane to have all the slows. Because why not? Just oh, said no. Like, Zach is I burning the flash to get over there, and he's gonna burn the jump to go over that wall as well. But he actually just brought himself <laughs> closer to Zed there. Not not within ulti range. True. But now they're both pins are and what do I say? Oh dear. Oh yes. dear. That was bad. And Sarah just runs in, and oh, I think that's a man. Ah, uh, Nerf to Earth probably with bad communication. They were just, they were like, "Do are we going in on this or are we not?" Oh, that was a beautiful crystallized arrow from Ash coming out, and that's the game. Garen will not be able to defend this versus all five. Game. He has that skin. You can do it. You can do it. I believe in this Garen. 
No. Come on, Porig, we're all cheering for you. No, you're not going to be able to do it. Wait, is that Porig? That's Porig. And there's the ace. Diana picking up an unofficial quadra kill, and the GGs are coming out. Wait, wait, it's Nerf, Akuma, it's Nerf, um, Nerf, Nerf, Nerf is Porig's team. Yeah, there's Galway's team. Oh, okay. There's the GGs coming out. We can hear it in chat. Yeah. All three inhibitors down. They're going to push on to the Nexus. The t uh, Nerf the Earth, not even up for 18 seconds. And game one will be going over to a very well deserving, uh, barely legal. Oh, not Galway. Sorry. Okay, it's Team Galway from now on. Yeah, we're going to call it Team Galway. It makes it so much easier. <laughs> So, just while we get game two set up, we have a little tr uh, a little MP treat for you, if you would. <laughs> um, we will be back after this with, after this short song with game two for you guys of the ArcadeCon League of Legends Championships 2013. As you can hear, Joe dying. Mute my mic, okay.
the gentleman. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. to me. This is Raiden. Welcome to Arcade Con. I don't want to have to kick your ass. But I don't Quentin Flynn, I'm a voiceover actor, and I'm here live in Dublin, Ireland at Arcade Con. Yeah, I'm thrilled that everybody's thrilled to have me here and that they know so much about the characters and the history, and um, it just blew my mind.
I play uh, bass in Jet Set Radio. Hello, I'm Kirsty, and I sing in Jet Set Radio. So funny about that. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm Cormac, and I play guitar. There's nothing funny about that. I'm Rhiannon, and I play keyboard. And I'm Connor, and I hit things with sticks. <laughs> difference in not only the amount of people here but also just the, the way it's run the quality of the event and everything it's just come on leaps and bounds already and it's only in its second year so I can only assume it's gonna go from strength to strength and just keep going I've seen no reason why it wouldn't <laughs> Uh, Pat, how I joined in, you just go into actual custom, go to join game, hit the... Go. Just right now waiting for Pat to join the game. Why? But there's still one space for you. Oh, okay.
Okay, there we go. I'm in. Happy days. Can you guys hear me okay this time? Again? Just making sure. Now! Now, let's see what bands we're gonna have this time. Same bands from Barely Legal, Nasus. This time we see the Zed band. After how much trouble they had with Zed, they just decided to ban Zed out instead of taking it for themselves. Okay, uh, can you guys hear me okay? Uh, same bands it seems from just Barely Legal. Uh, game capture, so... Ah. Uh. Yeah, sh right away we're seeing the Zed band, they do not want to deal with that again. So, okay, that's fixed now. And then we're getting back to the normal Blitzcrank. Now, Blitz the, the, the third, um... Uh, the third question is, will they ban out Diana? Because Diana just ran rampant last game. Diana only went rampant because it was Cartus v Diana. Cartus doesn't do very well against Diana, which is the problem. Unless there was a lot of babysitting. I think they banned out Heimerdinger! Pat, oh, you... they, they actually banned out Heimerdinger! Pat, can you mute your stream? Because I can hear myself talking through your stream back onto this. Oh, sorry. Uh, that should be okay now. That's a targeted ban because the laugh that they were, the laugh that I was talking about when they were having a champion, um, no, sorry, the lobby earlier was don't ban Heimerdinger. So they actually banned Heimerdinger. So that's a target ban. And I can bet you now that Nerf the Earth are not very happy. Um, so right the away, to be honest, a Zed and Diana ban. They don't want to have the, anything to do with that assassin comp or anything to, to do with the jump in. So and they've also managed to pick up Thresh first as well. So this time with no ignite, so I don't think he wants those kills with Nid. No, wait, that was on Nerf to Earth last time. Yeah, that was Sona the last time he was playing. Oh yeah, okay, my bad. Got the teams mixed up again. And Johan Hand Harker says that wasn't a target ban for Hat. It wasn't. More like a troll ban. I don't know. They were talking about it earlier. Okay, so we see um, Dead Puddle hanging o hanging over Shen here. Is it Shen jungle or Shen top? I assume it's gonna be a Shen top, to be honest. And the Cassiopeia actually barely Which... legal banned Cassiopeia last time, and now Nerf to Earth is picking up Cassiopeia, meaning Nerf to Earth wanted to play Cassiopeia. It seems. And, and Shen is locked in as well. So was Cassiopeia. So. Maybe these two teams have, sc have scrimmed already, I'm not sure. I think they have, because they knew Nerf to Earth had played Cassiopeia. No else, no way would they have banned it in the last game. Let's see, will Cassiopeia carry the game then? Same, Ash is going... Oh, no, Mordekaiser. No, no he, did this, he did this the last time as well. Yes, they did. So right. I'm, I'm just like, we've learned from LCS, we're just going to stay silent until something is locked in. What are you on about? I want to see Team Temu. <laughs> Where's Temu? Guys, why aren't you playing Temu? I was gonna say pity it's not audience, it was like Chef for Team Timu, uh, Temu. Everyone wants Temu. Temu. <laughs> Everybody should so, love Timu. Actually, last time it was Terra Corrupt who played top, so I think that is a Shen uh, jungle. And I wanna see is Terra Corrupt go is most likely gonna go top? Now, if this Maokai gets locked in, I shouldn't be talking, because that's how I just said it, but if this Maokai gets locked in. It's a support Maokai Garen top! Don't tell me this. <laughs> But really, Garen didn't bring much to the table the last game. Is he still gonna go with Garen? We should just stay quiet. He's thinking about it. He's he, re he really is. He's thinking, do I want... Maybe if that is a Shen jungle, do I want to give something else down... Um, do I want to give something else and then pick Shen? Or maybe it was supposed to be a, short, a support Shen Maokai jungle. It was very popular in season two, but it has fallen off a lot. No, it, he's not changing. Okay, this is Maokai support, I think. Remember, Nerf or Earth went ignite Nidalee, so it wouldn't surprise me if it was in like Maokai bottom lane. We're seeing a Lux picked up. Pick up. Oh, somebody's out to make us happy, Joe. We need to see oh Timo. We need to see Timo.
But is that a Teemo top? Teemo versus Garen. Actually, I, I'm actually... not. Ex I'm not expecting this to be locked in. Oh. Ah! So disappointed. Okay, uh, guys, just breaking news that Burley Legal have been disqualified for not picking Teemo. Well, <laughs> yes, Garen was the best player team, but Garen doesn't bring much to the table. Is the problem? And we oh, actually see Jax locked in for uh, that's uh, for that solo top roll. I'm guessing. Strong solo top once he gets going. Earlier is not so good, but it is a Lux mid, and this time Jax is taking teleport, so he hopes to be going to where Shen's going when he's in the jungle. I think, or uh, maybe he actually believes Shen's a pop a Malphite jungle. See, uh, and Garen. No, what, what are we talking about? It's um, Shen and Malkai bot lane. Miss Solo top misfortune and Garen in the jungle. It's a problem. Jax right now probably thinks Shen is top. It's the reason with the teleport. But it is a Malkai support. So it seems like Nerf the Earth is bringing out with the most unconventional supports with Ignite. But then again, it worked out well for them. Nidalee got five kills. If they can pull out this co oh no, it is a support Shen or a Garen support. I think it's a support Shen. But the big question is though, once Cassiopeia gets her ulti on the full team, Misfortune can just bullet time. That is true as well. What well, the need is a Moomoo to be honest. <laughs> oh, someone's saying Nidalee got five kills because Rage lacked it. Guys, I just want to say to the guys in the stream, don't forget that there is indeed a slash pause option. Yes, there is. If someone is lagged out, please just pause the game. It is allowed. And when you're going to resume it, just say, are people ready? So, while we wait for the spectator mode to come up, uh, we are just going to not play an advert, but instead just put the tile over. So, we will see you in three minutes. Go make a cup of tea. Be nice to yourselves. Treat yourselves or treat your mammy. Mammies are important too. Or your daddy. People love their daddies as well. What happens if you love neither? You make them a Teemo hat. What happens if you can't make a Teemo hat? Well, then you're not very talented. What does making a Teemo hat make? You can't make a Teemo hat. I have a Teemo hat. But you can't make one. In fact, my Archaicon boss, Declan Duty, who's in chat right now, is Spike Cola. Thank you, Declan. Uh, got me a Teemo hat for my uh, for my birthday. And I you, don't ha you don't have a birthday. I don't have a birthday. My whole life is a lie. I don't actually I don't actually exist. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. Just while we're waiting to jump into the game, if you guys think that that Nerf the Earth can actually come back, let me hear your love and chat now. And the crowd goes wild. Woo! Oh my god. Honestly, He's... though, the, the Nerf the Earth wasn't doing too bad in it. It's just the assassins got a bit out of control. If they can keep those assassins in check this time, it's just they have to keep Zin and... Actually, no, they have to keep Lux, Zin, and Jer... Actually, no, I'm not even sure what they have to do in this one. Nerf the Earth, top of the league. If you want... Okay, and if you guys want to actually see uh, a 2-0 stomp here... Same as we seen last night, then give your love up for Burley Legal. Yeah! What, what are you on about last night's stomp? Shadow Pikachu carried made that, that game. game. Yes. He made it. He carried our hearts. That E. Expert jungling. Is Andy on the stream? No. Oh. Andy's not on the stream. Oh, okay. It's Wednesday. He's, a, he's actually at Captain America's. Let's, guys, uh, raid on Captain America's after this. Actually, I'll, sh I'll show you what I want to see in chat at the moment. Whoops. I am professional. Oh, oh, Darren calling out on Andy. There we go. I want to see that dog. I want to see Frank or Z's. Game starting in 45 seconds? Yep, I know. Lies, you don't. I do. Okay. I know everything. What color is my hat? I have no idea. <laughs> but I'm more interested in the fact that they actually target by the Cassiopeia. Now they let the Cassiopeia 
out. I'm actually board. yep. I'm actually interested to see what's going what's going to happen. Yeah. And see, was that Cassiopeia band in the last game actually worth it? And see, the thing is, can Humorous uh, played Diana last game, and he played her very, very well. Um, I'm interested to see what his looks can bring. Lux um, is actually a really, really strong champion in season three. That wasn't wasn't that popular in season two, uh, but has now. What really the other one? Lux was really popular in season two by the Koreans. By the Koreans. Okay, I'll yeah. just let you know that the game is just loading up now, and I am just going to make these settings, and we will be able to jump onto the loading screen. I wish I had duct tape for my mic. Keeps slipping to the side. Ooh. The ping on the AD carry and T. Are they playing from China? Is, isn't League of Legends banned in China? No. Isn't it? It's huge oh, in China. World Elite. Well, World Elite. I am terrible. World Elite, Invictus Gaming. I am terrible. You you are terrible. It's huge in China. In fact, some guy robbed the idea to make a restaurant of League of Legends. So guys, we're just uh, waiting for the game to load up. We we're just waiting on Ash to load up, and uh, we'll be ready to jump into the game. If they wish to pause at any time during the game, they know that they can. They can hear us talking, unless they're listening to the stream as well as playing. That'd be really awkward, but still. Well, let's put it this way: you can't exactly shadow somebody else they're playing. I'm not saying shadow, but like listening. That's the problem. Okay, and we're into the game. So, what? Uh, what will be the first buys? So, the junglers start now with the machete five pots. Both junglers are. I'm interested to see what Maokai can bring. Cassiopeia starting with a Doran's ring. Garen going with the boots and tree pots as usual. Um, Jax hasn't bought yet. Not sure if he's still loading it. No, uh, he bought a... he's starting the red pot. The red pot. Oh, okay. And Lux getting a ward. No items. Just the ward and pots. So, misfortune getting the boots and tree pots. Shen hasn't bought anything. Shen is going to defend without buying. Shen is man molding. Shen is man molding this stuff. This is. I'm not sure what's going on, unless his teammates just told him, and now he's just waiting and checking and going back. Is he? No. No, he's just standing around. He's just standing around. <laughs> but Cassiopeia got a Doran's ring first. Very ballsy move. I'm still just looking at Shen here. Shen hasn't actually moved. Is Shen... There he goes, and he's off. And can they pause it? Oh no, he's moving? Oh no, okay. They still don't know he hasn't got any items yet. You are already dead. Not sure. But he is packing a lot of health. Um Help Quince, that seems. Oh there you go, he's now recalling back to go by. That's his teleport. He doesn't have teleport. There you go, he buys one ward. I read you bead. Oh no, he buys three wards, three breeds, and three pots, it seems. So, jungler getting help with walls. Now, uh, Cassidy is a very high skill cap champion, technically, on the thing. I played her, I think she is pretty high skill cap. Um, let's see how she'll do. Jungler's just getting a hand with their buffs, as usual. Ever since they changed that from season 2 to 3, where you can't actually leash the uh, buffs anymore. I miss. I kind of miss those days. Yeah, but everyone just will smite this, it's just good. But Jack's going for that stun and auto attack har harass. Yep. Garen dropping down about 100 health or so. Yeah, roughly. There's not much going on in the early game. Never to be expected, no invades uh, from both games. Kinda disappointed with that, was looking for some uh, 4 kills in a minute action. So you wanted those jungle invades, but no one has done those jungle invades yet. They're just playing a safe. It is a tournament game. Most people do play more safe in a tournament game. But both are level two, exactly the same part. And nice. Oh, point. that burst damage coming out. Half level two, half of uh, Cassiopeia's health was being and dropped there. the counter jungle by Zin on Maokai. But Maokai, is, Maokai flashes and is safe. 
the problem is Lux got to level 2 before Cassiopeia did, so there was easier for us. But look at the trading damage by Tresh, and Shen just burnt a flash. Yeah, Shen just burning flash to get out of here safely. Um, I'm currently locked on to Shen at the moment. Another bind by Lux. Lux is landing all those binds in, it seems. So, just concentrating on farming down bot lane again. Trish was walking around collecting the souls. Give me your souls. I don't know, is Treth a, a, Treth, is Tresh a ginger, I wonder? No. See, see, the problem is gingers aren't overpowered, but Tresh is. Oh, or not okay. That makes sense. Up to here. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is your uh, one and only ginger joke that you'll more than likely hear for this tournament. Hey, Miss Fortune's a ginger. And she's top tier. <laughs> she's also a female ginger. True. Nah, no, just. Katarina's a ginger. Oh, but we, hold on, we have a gang coming up on top lane. What's gonna happen here? here. Zin Sao just coming in. Nice Garen pass. having to burn the flashes in. Shao burned the flash as well. Garen's gonna walk out of it. Yeah, See, not Jax enough damage. Mana left. But Jax did pot, pot, um, pot his four pot, though. Pop his four pot. And Tresh knows that bush is warded as well, so. Rightfully so, but uh, both Shen and Misfortune just staying back away from that farm. Same thing is happening with bot lane. Ash is just out farming the opposition AD carry here. I'm not sure is it because of this uh, supports um, um, pressure or anything else, but Ash is now standing at 24 farm and Misfortune is only on 11. There we go, nice taunt by Shen. Will Maka get in range for the. Twisted Advance. Nope, does not. No, he does, but under the tower. That's going to be quite a lot of damage from the tower. Nice hook back by Tresh. And that is a dead Maokai. That's unfortunate. We might see a second kill here. Oh, where are we going for a... Is this a triple? Tri oh, wow. That red buff, ladies and gentlemen. Great play by Ash down in the bot lane there. Maokai really messed up there. Honestly, it was good play by the Ash, but I had to say, great play by Tresh. Making sure once Malkai came in, he wasn't getting back out from the tower range because he ended up, oh, I'm not sure what it's called, fling, him, uh, fling Malkai back in yep, with fling. Shen as well. So after uh, Malkai died, the tower instantly went on Shen. So, red buff Ash. And Ash also picked up her BF sword. Uh, five, a six minute BF sword with boots and dagger. Actually, that's the, uh, one of the chat members there, Galebreaker. He's just after saying uh, that was a great dive and a good triple kill. Uh, actually, no, it was a bad dive, but a great triple kill, even though he's playing on an aircon phone line. <laughs> oh, Ash is playing on an aircon phone line? Yeah. Oh, wow. Impressive. But on the Sorry, other note, Jailbreaker. Ash carrying that heal as well, it seems. I forgot about Ash that was carrying a heal. It's rare to see that. But right now, here, since Jax has no mana, Garen can just keep going in on him. And oh! Garen, he got the level 6. Before Jax did. Picked. Yes, Jax didn't even get the level 6. And that was great play there by, uh, by uh, Terra. Terra Corrupt up top. But instead of actually maybe pushing the minions under tower, they are somewhat under tower. But, yeah, he'll miss out on all those minions. The lane should reset itself since he was actually pushed. Now the problem is, what is their answer to bottom lane right now? That, that, that That's after turning into a farm lane. It's not, well, Misfortune can't go in anymore. The question is, is Garen still going to go with a tanky build? Is she going to go, is he going to go for a bit more damage to try and instantly nuke the um, Ash? Oh, Malkai coming in, but Lux just walks it off, no bother. And how is Cassio here with 26 farm to 46 of Lux's farm? Cassiopeia is not farming very well right now compared to Lux. So maybe we maybe we were right in um or maybe we were wrong in the fact that we wanted to see the um Oh it's just burnt by That's because Lux is actually landing on those vines, so do you know how you said you saw a really good Diana? Well it seems like her look, uh, his Lux is pretty good, it could be a her, I'm not sure. Uh, but he's landing all those vines. And Failure. Cassie is eating them for free. Failures United certainly are making a name for himself. This is no this is not Failures United. This is uh Barely legal. Sorry, Bert. I apologize. Sorry. Failures United was yesterday, man. Yeah. 
Living it, living in the past. It's all okay. I thought today was was Saturday. Today's not Saturday though. I thought it was earlier on. Are they playing on Saturday? No, uh, they're playing against us. We're f um, that's in round two. That's the 29th. Oh okay. Oh here we oh, go. Is it? Oh, oh yeah. comes in beautifully. He doesn't even have to get the third uh, the third of his tree talent strike off. Zin has a lot of damage in the game. And here he goes, Jesus just living in Maokai's jungle right now. But they're both level 5. And he go, he walks in. And he's just going And the talent strike is up. And the dash is. <laughs> and the smite. Poor Maokai. I don't think that would have mattered. If Maokai had uh, smited the red, he still would have died to, uh, to Zin yeah. Shell. I would have just ran. He saw him. He was just waiting in that bush going, hope he doesn't notice me though. And here we go. Garen is quite far ahead, so he's quite tanky. Now you're going to hurt him. Look, silent. Oh. Porig saying, okay, I accept your duel. It just smacks, smacks in shell for a silence and a spin. Same thing is happening though. The uh, Barely Legal's farm is generally higher than Nerf to, um, Nerf to Earth's farm as well though. Just want to point out as well, Joe, that at the moment it's only 9 minutes 15 seconds in. And Nerf, sorry, not Nerf the Earth. Um, Barely Legal already has a commanding gold lead, over, over 3k gold lead. Be honest, it's that early triple kill they gave to them, because one of them was first blood as well. Like the difference in the AD carries as well at the moment. Ash has oh, Ash has nearly fifteen hundred gold advantage over Misfortune. He's twenty farm ahead, and he has a triple kill. Zin <laughs> Xiao was in the jungle. He's two zero zero. He's three minions ahead, but he still has a seven hundred gold lead over. Sorry, a six hundred gold lead over Maokai. Here's the problem with Maokai as a jungler. If Maokai starts ganking losing lanes, Maokai himself doesn't bring that much damage. So if his, uh, if his teammates can't dish the damage, he's just going to get himself killed in lane. That's the problem. So his best bet is probably ganking mid or top right now. Well, he can actually still gank bottom, but it's just... Here we go. Is he... Nope. Oh, there you go. Just advanced by Maokai, but he instantly just walks off. The only problem is walking away from Ash is nasty due to the slow. Don't forget Thresh. And Thresh as well. But honestly, when you when you, when you you go near Ash's auto attack and you want to walk out for free, you don't get to walk out for free. That's the problem. Oh. Right. And Cassiopeia actually just walked into the laser. I mean, it wasn't... It was at a diagonal angle for uh, the Cassiopeia. She could have just walked uh, left. So Lux, Lux just got man. Um, Lux is just getting mana pots, uh, adorance ring, and boots. She actually has no regen per se, and Lux uses a lot of mana. But seems like she's not going to get the teens or get any sorts of mana regen. But rely on those pots. Look at the damage done to Maokai though. Uh, Maokai just taking a ton of harass this game. And Maokai was meant to be the tank. Garen trying to find. Uh, other lanes the gank, but gets caught. Oh, out. burns the flash to get out. Nice flash there by, by Terra Corrupt. And looks just saying, I'm gonna auto attack you while you walk away. In terms of late game comps. See, the thing is, so Shen's supposed to be that split pushing master. He's supposed to get tanky enough that he can take people. But if you're a support Shen, you really can't do that, which is the problem. Well, see, this is going to be a question. As you're talking about late game, can it's six kills to one, and it's only uh, 12 minutes into the game? To be honest, will they make it to late game? Very legal's got the better late game as well. They've got a Jax. They have a Lux. Um. Here we go, Garen's going in with a spin, Maokai's going to trust the fans on the jacks, and then Garen's going to come down with his ulti, and with that, a knife, He actually clicked the wrong person! He oh, actually he clicked the Zin Shao! He didn't ult the Zin Shao, he ult the jacks. Did he? Yeah, he ult the jacks, but Ma <laughs> with the ignite up, the only problem is Maokai flashed for the kill. So Maokai actually got that kill when it was actually Garen's, because the ignite would have killed him. I Maokai thought... really wanted that kill it seems, but Ash here just harassing them loads, but minions doing the fair bit of damage back to Ash here though. And Cassiopeia in mid, just backing off from Lux saying, you know what, I think I've had just about enough of this lane. But yes, Garen actually ulted Jax, and Jax was left with nothing. Okay. He queued Zin though. 
That's probably what I heard. I don't play a lot of Garen, so. Yeah, he queued in, but ulti jacks. And then Ma and then ignited him, and he had like 100 hate. He had like. Oh, the laser might kill. No, uh, Lux does not up to use the laser. Was it on cooldown? Here's the problem. Yeah, it was on 95 farm to 54. He nearly doubles Cassiopeia's farm in mid, and it's when you're doubling your farm in mid, that's nasty. And I don't think Humorous has actually gone back to buy yet. He is currently sitting on 1800 and 1845 gold he, in his pool. He hasn't. He doesn't need to. He can he can keep boiling his lane every time he gets back. Garen waiting that bush. Here he goes. Q's Jack spins. Starting to do less damage now because he's going for that tanky route. To be honest, if he had a black cleaver by now, he probably would have chunked Jax's HP to half. Um, Terra Corrupt wants to get this tower down, it seems. He wants to hit it. Hopefully, maybe to get his teammates more gold. Or he's just gonna tease Jax. Just be like, ah, I see your tower, and run away. To be honest, he should get those tower. His yep. teammates really need that gold right now. Yeah, they're falling further behind. They're now 5k in the lead. Here we go. Another another gank. The thing is, Cassiopeia is not warding those rates. That is... Or the junkers not warding those rates. It's also and, great communication by... Fail oh, but there's the hook onto his fortune! And, and the box... The dead misfortune, I'm pretty sure. Nice oh. pump by Shen. No box no coming down. Shen's gonna die for... No. Nope. Uh, Ash gets the kill. Fantastic flash and great accuracy as well, even though it's a straight line. And now Shen is not gonna get away from this. This is a free double kill. Oh, the prim... And the... F Fail flash. But Ash played that so well. Nice binding by Lux. Lux has now gone up top, but it is a good sign that Garen is tanky. He can take the damage. I just want to go back to, uh, to that Shen. Um, between the fail flash, what Ash actually did was he he seen uh, the Shen actually starting to walk into the bush, so he prematurely shot off the hawk shot so he can keep vision at all times. That was fantastic play by Ash. That is good. I'm surprised Crash just didn't dump a ward into it as well. That could have worked. Just like when he was, um, uh, was it Zach? Maokai is not having a good time right now. Now Maokai has been taken out of this game. Maokai is only level 6 uh, compared to uh, Zin Xiao's level 8. Zin Xiao is also packing his Madrids and he's starting to get some health as well. So that might be an but early lock of the Iron Solari. He's, yeah, he's rushing an Iron Lock of Solari. It is one of the best tower diving thing to go with when you're, when you're far ahead. But Trash here. Didn't throw, didn't throw out his um, hook. I'm just gonna go back to mid, Joe. You're gonna be on different camera. No, it's mid, it's mid now for me. Okay. Shen's here helping Cassiopeia to defend. See as well, Shen has no tank items either because I think what they wanted to do was they wanted to get fed off the Ash. They were expecting an Ash pick and they wanted to possibly get fed. So, um, they were hoping for a kill lane. The Shen turned into the misfortune bullet time. Um, Double shot damage. That's a dead Ash. Unfortunately, Ash did get the triple kill early game. Well, Ash has a 16 minute Infinity Edge wood boots. And also, Lux is packing a needlessly large rod. And Cassiopeia hasn't bought boots yet. I think Cass that could be Cass the Cassiopeia reason. can't buy boots. Good. Lol. But on the other note, the big point is she's getting hit by those binds a lot. See? There you Maybe go. Boots would have helped. Good Shen, ulti! Well played! Maokai doesn't does. just advance the Lux though, for some reason. Maybe it was on cooldown, but... That was fantastic play by Lux as well. They actually got the Cassiopeia and then flashed away over the wall to avoid the Shen. Made it away on what seems to be only a third of his health. That was really good on Shen to ult. Pity though they couldn't get that kill. Maokai didn't just advance for some reason, I wasn't sure why. Well, Jax rushed for a Sunfire Cape, so Jax is just going to be that wall for Ash, it seems. And now Barely Legal might just be looking at the dragon. Yeah, they're warding up around the area, but Shen and Maokai are there. Misfortune has gone back, though. Possibly not the best time. Why is he going back? He's and on full health and mana. Cassiopeia is on her way down as well. Lux is now going back to buy. Lux, Lux has a laser. He can help with dragon, no better. <laughs> no, he oh, actually no, sticks around. Yeah. Another. Humorous, looking like a very nice mid player. 
certainly carry this team as Diana seems to want to do the same as Lux. But this time it's actually Ash that's really carrying, to be honest. But Ash didn't do bad in the last game either. Porg just warding up there. Jack should not be scared of Garen anymore, in my opinion. Um, let's see, what did Jack's build? Average Blade. Yeah, Jax doesn't have to be scared. It's just Jax is going to run out of mana. It's a problem. Garen has no mana left. <laughs> crash and burn. Here we yeah, go. Crash and burn. Well, Malka. There's a flash with an advance. Are they now... going to get the shutdown bonus? Where's oh, the ulti? Well, where's the ulti by Kasupia? No? Well, there. That's two dead characters. Are they going to leave this? Oh, yep, but there's the laser. Here. But Garen doesn't have the damage to kill. There's the ult. There's the ignite. Oh, but Lux actually saves, and Zin is gonna go back in. Actually, oh, that's a fantastic flash. And that's that an is... unofficial triple kill for for Humorous on Lux. Oh, oh. Wait, great, Ash. great communication, unlucky shot with the ice arrow. We actually we... have it. Oh, never mind, never mind. No, there's the pause. Okay, yeah, the pause has come out. Uh, just while we have this opportunity, uh, I just want to take a look at the goal difference now, uh, now that we're just about 20 minutes into the game. Never mind, it's after being uh, resumed. Lux has more or less taken a 3,000 goal lead. Sorry, a 2,000 goal lead over uh, Cassiopeia. That's a needlessly large rod and the amplifying tone that you're actually seeing on Lux. What amplifying tome? She has an easily large rod and the haunting guys. The amplifying tome went into the haunting guys. Yeah, I know that. I thought you mean she actually has that. Hey, that's a dead mouse. Oh no. Oh. That would have been a dead mouse. That would have been a dead mouse indeed. Um, Zin, as you see, has finished his uh, lock of the year in Solari, and it seems to be now that he's going that he's going to be the tank for the team as well. Yeah. No, they just really need to be that wall for Lux. If they can peel for Lux and Ash, they'll do. They right now are fed enough that they can do the damage to kill anything on the opposition team. Oh, what, we can, what we can see now is that uh, Sergio uh, Zinchao actually does have the emblem of valor. Oh, so he's going to go for an Aegis as well. Yep. See, usually what people seem to think that is like, oh, I'm the assassin, I must kill the AD carry. At late game, you just need to protect the AD carry. The tank doesn't have to go for the AD carry anymore. But here comes the first dragon by Barely Legal. And it's probably going to be taken uncontested, or is Misfortune going to do a bullet time? Nope. Getting the blue buff for um, Cassiopeia here. Oh, arrow was. No, um, there we go. There's the ice arrow, and here comes the binding, and that is a dead Cassiopeia. And there's the wall by Tresh. Well, it's just a cleanup, to be honest. Now, what are we gonna see here? Garen has the farm, he's not fed on kills and he's still not very tanky. Here's the problem though, like I said, Garen doesn't bring much to the table, especially late game. It is a good thing that he did really well, and he was doing really well top, it's just his teammates aren't doing as well, so it's harder. It's hard for a Garen to carry. He can, but it's just harder. Right now they're just stealing everything out of Nerf to Earth's jungle, not letting them have anything. And Jax could take this tower free, or is he just going to keep on getting the minions? Keep getting minions. But of course, here comes the Garen, and Jax is like, no, do not want to deal with this. Guys, just while we have uh, farm lanes, I just want to um, confirm a bit of news that we have. Um, Arcadecon 2013 has just confirmed another special guest for this year's convention taking place in the D4 hotels. Uh, if you want to find out, then you should go like Arcadecon on Facebook, and the announcement will be put up officially tomorrow. Not to be the most bleak of all things, but at 22 minutes, Ash has her Phantom Dancer fully built and her Infinity Edge. And Misfortune just has her Zeal and a Vamp Scepter and two Dorans. And there you go, the auto attacks hitting on Garen. What can he do? Oh, they can actually burst the Garen down here. Garen, of course, not really There's packing any more. How much help did Garen get away on? And there's the arrow by Ash. Well, it hits go. the wrong target. Doesn't matter. Oh, what a brilliant flay! And Ash is just zoning Garen out, and they're just gonna kill. 
There's the ulti by Cassiopeia. Can Cassiopeia do anything? He's got to get the shutdown no, bonus. The exhaust by Thresh. Stop Fantastic the supporting by Thresh. Add the nice shield by Lux. Not missing a single ability there. And I wonder if um, I wonder if Brady Legal are going to turn around in all chat and say uh, report Jax for Phoenix at the moment because this is looking so dire. It's unfortunate that uh, po that um, Porig did get the kills on Jax because he's pa oh, Garen. Uh, Garen, yep. Like he got the kills. He also had the best lane. But he also had he also had a good lane in the last game as well. It's it's pretty hard to fight against a Garen occasionally. Humorous self fed now, it seems that he either uh, he wants to attack I his own team. By the luck, but he can't get out though, he's slowed. There's the route. Nice flash by Humorous. Humorous might not escape here, but he does. No, Garen is just gonna stick on him. I'm nice the ignite. E, uh, nice jump. Nice E from uh, Zin to get out. And there's the locket build and there's the ice arrow. Oh, what a fantastic I turnaround. Wow! Triple kill with the laser by Lux! What a fantastic play! And he survives after being jumped on under tower. Nicely played by Lux there. That was a well lined up laser. They were all lined up asking for it. With a death cap and a hunting, guys. They're taking nearly true damage with the boots as well. And Lux finished off her Leandra's tournament. So even packing up health isn't going to help too much. And of course, uh, Nerf the Earth are not very happy about that. Yeah. They didn't even get away with one kill in that, in fact. Just seeing um, a hint of the all chat there. But still, that was a fan. That's actually going to go on one of the highlights. That was fantastic play uh, by, all, by all the members of them. Um, very legal. They just seem to be communing very well. They know when their teammates are in trouble or they know when to support them. Like, his Ash just came rushing down that mid to help the Lux and Zin. Right now, just since just seeing it be in the jungle. A nice binding by Lux again. Just keeps landing them. Humorous is legendary at this point. Nice ice arrow by Ash to stop Garen, but see, Garen's not even doing that much damage to. Uh, Ash anymore, that's the problem. Nice ulti by Cassiopeia, but she's just lacking the damage to finish them off. Looks so dangerous, and they're not gonna give up, they're gonna chase. You're and Shen is the only one alive who's escaping on no health. You think Lux is the dangerous one? I personally think it. Ash is the most dangerous one right now. Lux is 12-0-9. Yeah, Ash is the AD carry. AD carry kind of pushes it a bit further. And there's the GG coming out. Fantastic is... game. Well played and well deserved there by um by Birdie Legal. Birdie Legal kind of just called him out on that one. Fantastic game there, play.